What is going on? Brian Carroll here, PowerXRink.com HQ. Check out this sweet Skull 3.0 shirt that I have. You can get yours at the link below in the shop. Today, I'm gonna to talk about my newest injury that I have. Yes, I'm injured again. This one is a little bit of a different injury, one that I've only had about one time before, and this is something that occurred recently with too many walks and not taking proper care of my feet. I have a nice, what I call a vagina foot going on where I have a crease in the pad of my foot where it's been cracked because it's been too dry and I've been walking too much. I'm trying to get my weight under 280. I've been eating better, but as I talked about in one of the more recent videos and on the live stream that I do every Wednesday at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, that I've struggled with it because I like to eat. But as of now, I got things on track. I'm doing about two to four walks per day, 10 to 15 minutes. And because I got a little complacent and wore some different shoes that I train people in and not my walking shoes, I uh, have a little bit of a crease and a foot vagina going on in my pad. And uh, of course, I'm being a little bit facetious, but man, that crease and that crack hurts so bad um, that I'm gonna have to back off my walking. So I know some of you are probably coming to click this link hoping that I possibly re-injured my back or something like that for people that may have followed around with my back journey and are sick of me talking about how good my back's felt for the last eight and a half years. Sorry to disappoint you. Cheers to the people that, that want me to be hurt. But I want to say on this video that there's no free passes. Everything has a cost. It might be breaking your back, trying to squat 1200 pounds. It might be something as simple as walking a lot and improper shoes. And next thing you know, you're hobbling around the house because you have a foot vagina going on in the bottom of your foot and you got a crease and a crack. Um, I want to know if anyone has any suggestions on how to, to do away with this pain and this crack that I have going on in the bottom of my uh, foot. Um, I have used bag balm for horse hooves before and I can't seem to find it right now. It's somewhere in the house um, and Rhea's gone, so I'm kind of SOL. What I did do is take some lidocaine, lidocaine cream and put it on there and it feels a little bit better right now, but it looks like I'm gonna be prevented from walking for the next couple of days. So uh, if you have ideas on how to get rid of a foot vagina, um, that would help. Put some comments below. Let me know what you do whenever you get a crack in your foot. It felt it feels like someone like got me with a catfish barb or a stingray in the bottom of my foot. So it doesn't feel good. So if you got suggestions for that, put it in the comments below. My back isn't hurt. My body actually feels really good. Um, I've been walking a lot and uh, I'm paying for it a little bit now with improper footwear. So also if you have shoes that you like to walk in, or do like trail hiking and such. I just walk on the road. Give me some suggestions below if you would, because I'm kind of out of the game on uh, tennis shoes and cross training shoes and walking and running shoes. So if you'd help me out a lot or a little bit with that, I'd appreciate it a lot. So uh, once again, new videos every Monday and Friday at 1 p.m. and every Wednesday, 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I'm doing a free live stream here on YouTube. Thank you so much, everyone. I appreciate the suggestions you're gonna give me below for my foot vagina, and we'll talk to you soon. Thank you so much for watching today. Please subscribe, like, and share if you enjoyed this video, and have a wonderful day.